Hey guys, so welcome back to the white sheet background. I I know I just filmed my setup video, but I moved everything again. The setup is still the same, I just kind of took it and moved it back in the corner where I had my old setup, so, um, so that you don't see my messy bed and everything behind me, I'm going to have the sheet up. But today I am doing the, um, a tutorial with the Kat Von D Monarch palette. Um, I got requests to do tutorials with both of them. I was gonna do, since there's so many different shadows in both of these palettes, I was gonna do like a different look on each eye with each palette, but I'm just gonna... School bus. <laughs> have the windows open because it's too warm for me today. Um, but I'm just gonna do a single look with this palette because it's gonna get too long if I do two different ones so I'm just going to I already um, did my foundation I just primed my face with the Kat Von D rehab elixir rehab priming elixir and I used the Kat Von D locket tattoo foundation so I'm gonna use the um, Urban Decay primer potion for my eyelids with the uh, base shadow brush from Real Techniques that just looks like that. I'm going to take this middle base color up here and the name of that one is Telepathy. This one right here. And it's kind of like a, a very light taupe color and it's got some shimmer in it. I'm gonna put that um, on about half of my lid, a little more than half. Not going too far into the crease. Okay, so once that's done, I ha I'm like at a lack for brushes right now because I need to wash my brushes in the worst way. Um, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics blending brush. Um, this one is Vanish, which is like a matte, really light caramel brown color. And this is going to be my transition color. So I'm going to do that before I do anything else. And just kind of blend it into the crease. Alright, then with that same brush, I'm going to pick up this a sparkly cream shade right here. It's just a uh, matte cream with silver sparkles in it. And it is called Tiny Death. And I stuck my finger in one of the other shades. And I'm just going to, with that same brush, use this as my brow highlight. I'm going to take this blending brush from Coastal Scents. Um, this has been like my favorite outer corner blender. I don't know why, it's just I've been loving this. I'm going to take this burnt orange color called Wrath. It's this super crazy pigmented. I just dipped that in there once. But this color is going to go everywhere on my lid that I didn't put that first color. See how crazy pigmented that is? It's just touching it. I'm gonna take the matte black in this palette, which is called Deadhead, the last one on the bottom row, and just using the tip of that same brush, the Coastal Sense one, to darken up my outer corner. I hope I'm in frame. I'm like, the camera's too close to me today. Okay, so I pretty much have that for the top lids. Now I'm going to, and I should have done this before, but I'm going to put a little bit of primer on my lower lash line just because I always have issues with color staying there. That's why on a day to day basis I don't wear color on my lower lash line. But if you put primer there, it helps. <laughs> I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize Nude Pencil for my waterline. Um, for my liner on my top lash line, I'm going to use the Urban Decay. Uh, this has such a long name, I always forget what it's called. The Super Saturated Ultra Intense Cream Liner on my Sonia Kashuk Angled Brush. And I'm just going to use this for my um, top liner. 
Okay, so top liner is done. I'm just going to put some mascara on. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Immortal Lash. I'm going to use my favorite little smudger brush, which is actually the Kat Von D one. This was in her first first brush set. I think it's in the second brush set as well. Um, I don't have that one. I think the only difference is there's like a blush brush in it instead of one of the other ones, but I'm going to take that burnt orange color again. I keep forgetting the name. The Wrath color. And smudge that on my lower lash line. Again, just the tiniest bit because it's so pigmented. And I always like to just bring that color up to kind of connect it with my eyeliner or at least make sure it's right next to it. Take this little um, Real Techniques accent brush which is, I like this for doing like my inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna use uh, what is this one? one two, three, four. This kind of rosy mauve color called Killing Jar and that's gonna be my inner corner highlight because it's got enough shimmer in it and it's kind of like a pink um, really pretty shade. I just put it in this corner and blend it into my shadow and then come right down and blend it a little bit into the burnt orange color. I'm going to use my NARS uh, blush palette. This is the Guy Borden, Bordeen, however you pronounce it. Um, they don't put the stinking names on here and I can't remember the names of the uh, blushes but I know that one is uh, that's orgasm blush and that one is um, deep throat and I can't this is Laguna bronzer <sighs> I can't remember what the names are but I'm going to use um, the deep throat blush as my blush just Um, this is, I always forget to mention my face brushes, this is the Real Techniques buffing brush which I pretty much always use to apply my blush and then I'm going to use the contour brush for my highlight which is also going to be the highlight color from this palette. Again, can't remember the name, it's not Albatross, it's like a pinker version of Albatross. Fill in my brows which Pretty much the only thing I've been using lately is my Anastasia brow powder in dark brown. So I will do that real quickly. I like to use the Kat Von D angled liner brush for my eyebrows because it's nice and stiff but it's not like, I don't know how to explain it. It's nice and stiff but it's still soft. It just applies the brow powder well. Okay, so brows are done, cheeks are done, face is done. I just need a lip color that'll go well with this and since it's kind of a more neutral look I'm gonna go for a brighter lip color. I'm actually going to use a Kat Von D lipstick to go along with this look. Um, this is Backstage Bambi. It's just a matte bright pink color. Probably one of my favorite lipstick colors from her. And there we go. Um, I'm going to, as always, put pictures at the end so you can see the look better. Um, but that's pretty much it. I did kind of a fall smoky eye is what it turned out to look like even though it's almost summertime. It's hot outside today, much to my dismay because I hate summer and hot weather, but um, anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. That is my look for the Kat Von D Monarch palette. I'm going to do one with the Chrysalis palette. It's probably going to be similar to the look that I wore in the review video that I did for both palettes. Um, or probably the same exact look because I love those colors together. But that is it for now and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.